Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Mark Guide. Uh, we are taking care of, let's see here, I believe it's 31, yep, 31 through 35. Uh, so the first one here, 31 is Newfound Purpose. Uh, I actually don't have the footage of my initial kill, I believe. Yeah, I think I, uh, <laughs> I think I wiped it out. So, um... I guess just keep in mind that your first time reward is going to be three perfect conductors. So, uh, you know, normally, normally I'm not real wild about, um, you know, a lot of the rewards just because they're either kind of redundant or, you know, you can kind of get them in, in other ways. But this one, I, I actually like, I, I kind of like any ones that, uh, you know, either directly give you cash or, uh, well, I shouldn't say directly give you cash. That's not really a thing in this game. I guess it's more, you know, uh, if, if a reward was a, a component that can be sold for cash. But uh, anyways, uh, this one, you know, is, uh, is actually going to be a decent uh, experience now. Uh, anyways, so what do we have here? It's the Pulse Work Champion and three of these... Uh, let's see, did I get a... It looks like I got a preemptive here as well. Uh, that's going to help out a lot uh, in in obtaining your uh, five star for this. So there's the five star. And uh, again, keep in mind, this reward is actually a second completion. So there you have the crystal oscillator times two. Um, so again, you know, your first time reward is actually going to be uh, three perfect conduct. So, again, keep that in mind. Uh, anyways, this is mission 32, and then there was one. Uh, the mark here is the... Is that a, a ma'am? A Something like that. Uh, and he's actually located kind of by the, the lake. Kind of sort of, the, sort of on the north. Well, kind of more like the central. Central, but... S but west uh, area of the Arkhild Step. Anyways, that is where we're at. This mark is not too difficult either. Uh, I don't think I used any sort of shrouds or anything like that, so we'll check we'll check here how this goes. And uh, looks like I swapped to swap back to Relentless Assault there for our initial paradigm. I like these enemies though; they do look kind of cool. Almost like a cross between a wolf and like a pterodactyl or something. I don't know. Whatever these, whatever these things are coming off of their front legs. Just that, I guess that reminds me of a, of a pterodactyl or something. Anyways. Um, wow, he's got all kinds of fun debuffs there. Um, it's like pain as well as fog. Luckily those hit probably the... People. They really, they really didn't slow me down at all. I guess I should say. But uh, there's your five star. And what do we get here for a first time reward? Glass buckle. Wow, that's really lame. <laughs> that is a super lame reward. I guess to be fair, it's a really easy mark. All right, so what's next here? Uh, as you can see here, actually, I kind of did some of these, I think, a little bit out of order, like slightly. But uh, I always end up coming back and, you know, doing them, I guess, in the, in the correct order. Anyways, all right, so uh, Mark 33 is a parent's pledge. The mark is the Edimentulid. We've already fought a few of these, so this isn't going to be anything uh, too difficult. Uh, and I believe the mark is actually uh, in the Arkhout Step, kind of like the... I guess I'd say it's fairly central. Or in the central area of it. Um, so yeah, we'll get the... There it is. But here we are. Hopefully you recognize this area. It's really, <clears throat> excuse me, really close to the the circle of Sea of Stones. And uh, again, you know, we've already taken down quite a few of these. So if you're, I mean, to be honest, 
you know, when we when we're actually able to take this mark, it's extremely easy. Um, I don't I don't actually remember where the cutoffs are. You know, as far as when you can take certain marks and when. But uh, you know, you can always uh, like nor normally what I do. You know, for this for the whole mark hunting uh, business is I go through the through the story actually, and then I come back for a lot of the marks. The at least half of the marks, um, you know, and, and, and wait until kind of post story, and then I just rip through all of them at once. So, but I mean, that being said, you can come back earlier. You don't have to beat the game, you know, and then come back later. You can certainly uh, take a bunch of these down sooner. Uh, I'm not sure if these can be, uh, or if you can get it preemptive on these guys or not. I kind of feel like you can't, but. Um, uh, and usually, uh, usually their their info will say. So if you check the data log, or if you're uh, you know actually in battle and get the right bumper, it usually should or it should tell you as long as you know that enough info about these. You know if you've used Libra a couple of times and whatnot, uh, that should that should get you that info. But uh, that being said, I mean all I did here was buff up and debuff him. And uh, there's the five star. And then our first time reward here is a white cape. That's a, just rolling in really lame rewards right now. Uh, and here is Zenobia the Butcher. You know what? Now that I think about it, I uh, forgot to mention Mark 31 is actually a teleport location. So uh, obviously once, uh, once you get there, I'd recommend taking that down. Uh, Zenobia here is an interesting mark in that uh, you actually don't fight Zenobia. Uh, <laughs> this mark is actually technically a, a Tonberry, which is kind of interesting. Uh, and I actually do have a an interesting comment here about the about the Tonberry. Sure, there's a little there's a little cutscene here too that I think is hilarious. So you think this thing is gonna be all crazy and? wicked and tough to beat, right? I mean, look at this guy. That just looks creepy. With the tentacles? Look at that. <laughs> I guess they should have called it, called it Achilles, maybe. It looked kind of like he maybe he stabbed him in the... That was probably the sh It looked kind of like the shin, I guess, so not really the heel. Anyways. <laughs> Here he is. The, uh... The time period. <laughs> I don't know, that gets me every time. All right, so uh, one thing I have to mention about these guys, and um, there's a, I've, I've seen this all over the place on the internet and guides and, uh, you know, B-series, that kind of thing with these guys. Uh, it says that they've got a chance to drop a, ton a Tonberry figurine, but that doesn't seem to actually be the case. So I don't know if there was a, a programming error or something, but... Um, in the, you know, hundreds of times I've killed Tonberries, I've never gotten a Tonberry figurine. Now, that being said, uh, there is a mark much later on. Well, maybe not much later on. It'll probably be two or three videos from here. Um, where you fight three Tonberries at a time. And uh, the first time reward, I can't remember what it is, but the second time reward uh, is actually a Tonberry figurine. So, they are obtainable in the game... They just don't drop as far as I've been able to test. So keep that in mind. Um, and uh, another another interesting thing with this guy is obviously you're going to want to get him debuffed uh, and buff yourself up a little bit. Uh, reason being is every time they stab you, they're able to actually take a, take a buff off of you. And if you can see there, they give you a ton of target time to beat these guys. And uh, there's your reward, the Hermes Sandals. So that, that's going to give you, uh, you know, auto haste if you don't already have a bunch of those. Um, but that is a fantastic reward. That is just, uh, it's really awesome, to be honest. Um, you know, if you haven't already amassed, uh, you know, a bunch of those uh, Hermes sandals, uh, I would, I would, uh, I would at least give that one a shot and uh, see what you think, you know, and then potentially get more. <laughs> I love them. Uh, not much else I can say about that. Uh, and so uh, by by defeating Mark 34, I think that's what actually opens up this area. And this is called the Fault Warrens. And uh, there are a ton of marks here. So we're going to, uh, I'm going to do my best to try to get them all in order. But uh, they're kind of a pain in the butt. And uh, 
Just keep in mind that traveling around the fault warrens is kind of interesting, depending on the paths that you choose, because there, there's tons of forks. And some of the forks converge and some don't. Um, so, you know, if you've, if you've got some sort of guide that's going to uh, help you, uh, you know, traverse this area, I would say that's, that's probably going to help you out a lot, uh, because it can be pretty, uh, pretty complicated. But uh, anyways, we're going to take on mark number 35 here. Uh, I'm not going to have the footage of my five-star win here uh, because I killed him so many times uh, that, I, that I just didn't even bother. And uh, to be honest, he's fairly easy to get a, uh, a five-star on as long as, or I should say, especially if uh, you use a Deceptisol. Um, I don't believe you can get a preemptive on him just because he's facing you. But, uh, you know, I could be wrong there. Um, but, anyways, uh, he's got a 200% stagger threshold here. Definitely going to want to get him debuffed. But, uh, you know, once again, if you really, really want to get that 5 star and you're having, you know, major issues, uh, I would say go with the Deceptisol. It's. It's just it makes the makes the fight ridiculously easy. You stagger him and he's he'll be dead in seconds. So uh, that is my that is my recommendation for this guy. Uh, anyways, the the next quite a few marks are going to be all in the fault, fault warrens here. So uh, I'll again you know I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best to get him in order, but uh, just keep in mind that this area is a little difficult to uh, to get around in, or I should say it's complicated to to get around in. Anyways. I uh, hope this guide was helpful, and I uh, hope you join me for more Mark videos. Thanks for watching.